No doubt about it, living along this part of Bayou Serra has its perks. Just wake up in the morning and look out, and that's, that's all you got to do. But it occasionally comes with a price when a storm is churning in the Gulf. Chris Long, owner of an overhead crane repair company, has only lived here a little more than three years, so he's just... Listening to the guy, the, the folks that's been here a little while and just kind of following their lead. And, uh, and oh, that guy back there? Yeah, yeah, the guy behind me, my neighbor, he's getting his getting his boat out of the water. I, I thought I might better get out and get do some precautions just in case, hopefully for nothing. But It's that but that makes even seasoned storm watchers reluctant to pull any punches this time of year. Folks here along Bayou Sarah are used to fluctuations in tide. It can go up and down by several feet depending on high tide and low tide. Not too worried really, but just in case. Because this is a storm, they say they're taking a few precautions. Contractor Todd Oliviero and his wife Sharon Hummer have lived near the Bayou Sarah boat launch for a little more than three years. And in that time, the water has never crested their seawall. But today you are doing a little prep. Yes. We are. Yeah. What are um, you doing? We're just, we're going to clear our furniture off the deck, make sure anything that can, you know, blow yeah. away with the wind is mm -hmm. cleared off so that it's not you know, a damage at our house or anybody else's. Or lands in the pool, for or example. Lands in the pool. Or turns into a missile and it's their house or Correct. something. Yeah. Right. Before living here, the couple spent 10 years in South Florida, right. so they know. Chairs. We've no been through it before. Here. We're already sitting on our hurricane emergency backup water, propane, some fuel. Uh -huh. A generator. We stay ahead of it. You know, got our generators ready to go. Being ready to go is not a bad idea, says Sarah Land truck driver Kyle Malloy. I do remember the water being up right here actually where we're standing. That was 19 years ago during Hurricane Katrina. Approaching Hurricane Francine is no Katrina, not even remotely close, but Kyle says the megastorm left an impression that is hard to shake. And that's a good thing. Did you learn anything from Katrina, from watching it, that you apply even today? Uh, yeah. Uh, don't wait too late to, uh, you know, get your stuff together and uh, get prepared. Or, ra or rather, you know, even if you have to travel, yeah. you know, up north to get away from it. Absolutely. Yeah. And though Chris wasn't here back then to see it, he's heard about it. It can come up in my house, and that scares me a little bit. It has happened before. Yeah, it has happened. Not with you there. Not with me there, yeah. but... Uh, well, you know, it, mm -hmm. it's, we got insurance for that stuff. 